Here is the main thing that you got to know about this cleaning process. This is a very harmful dirt inside these pores. And now let's clean it very carefully. Patrick's Garage. What we need for cleaning these pores inside. So I bought this uh, brush. If you have aluminum engine, will be better to use more softer brush. But I using steel brush because this is cast iron engine, cast iron head, and I don't care. Drill will be very useful in this process. So we put it in the drill and snug it enough. Yes, yes, we need gloves to protect our skin. Insert bush inside very carefully. Do not scratching the valve seats because it will be so sadly if we damage anything. Initially I planned to use manual drill, but later I decided to use this battery drill and the process will be more fast with electric drill. In the kit which I bought uh, for cleaning this head uh, was uh, different different diameter brushes and we can find best match for our ports considering diameter of the ports and uh, valves valve seats and as i said earlier main thing to not damage valve seats so slowly and surely with carefulness we continue our cleaning process you know these pots should be clean as a whistle all the time we got to watch out to not damage the valve seats that's why we want to buy soft brushes for aluminum head and we all the time want to check uh, our results from time to time. Exhaust ports and intake ports different diameters so we can change our brushes and put them in different diameters which we need. We need lower speed drill, not hard pressing the brush. It really depends how we hard push the drill inside and push to the brush. We're not scratching our ports inside. This is cast, cast iron. And not forget, just I remember, really main thing to clean exhaust uh, valves plates from dirt, so they not overheat. Now we put our head at different angle and we clean it inside from side of ma manifold. Here is one manifold, as you know, one as a complete unit, exhaust and intake. We can easily guess that exhaust ports more dirty. So we are ready that a lot of dirt can go from the exhaust port. This dirt inside never wait that we one time clean it, remove from the walls of our ports. It's so habituated sitting inside and it obviously don't want to go out. And now we can change our brushes more convenient brush for diameter we not being slab to forget any port to clean so each one will be cleaned yes that could be a very time consuming process maybe if you coat the walls inside the ports with wd-40 or with kerosene and dirt can suck up it then this process will be even more faster than now and the main feature attraction of kerosene that we can use it all the time. But now you see dry dirt, like black powder. If you haven't been following me, you don't know that in the last series, we pushed out the exhaust valve. 
which stuck. And in there, in this pot, a lot of dirt, a lot of rust. And if it's so, it pushes our mind that inside was water. But this water gets inside this pot from the inappropriate store. But if the car was in working condition, if before we are removing the hat, it can be dangerous signal, signal of cracks. But now I think uh, that's so good. But rust in the ports always intrigues a lot. I really can't understand why now they're producing aluminum heads with iron heads more easier to work. But in my car, cast iron engine. And since I have it, I'm going to repair it. And since again, I'm filming videos about my repairing process. It's very tempting to just apart something in the car, especially in long winter evenings. But in winter, sometimes cold enough to freeze the balls off. And I'm freezing my balls off. And I don't want walking outside. A lot of dirt, you see. But no, we didn't get kicked out. Not so a lot of dirt to get kicked out. When you're messing around with head, you're supposed to clean out all the dirt from inside. Inside exhaust bolts always full of crud a lot of unpleasant uh, black dirt substance burnt particles now you know you understand that gasolines are different now than they used to be and this dust from old engines are very harmful. So even this cardboard goes to the dumpster after this our cleaning process. Here we see I'm using a metal sponge. I like to cleaning something with uh, these metal sponges. We can approach from another angle for more convenience. So in cold winter, we should care about not only about oven frozen balls, but with carefulness and enough attention, we should clean our uh, valve seats. Accuracy more valuable in this process. This wires, uh, steel wire sponge, you can buy on every corner. They always useful if you want to cleaning something. And uh, more than this, with this wires sponge we create comfortable vibe like in the granny's kitchen if it's important for us for working with car we need comfortable vibe yes of course <laughs> for a uh, for a lot of us granny's kitchen now out of reach yes this carpet uh, goes to the garbage container but uh, this uh, sponge this wire sponge we can use in the next time but some wires can be falls off it's just if we uh, talking about weak links of this wire sponge and that's the weakest link on this sponge always recheck the surface for remnants of these wires and i think these uh, sponges uh, can be more aggressive with aluminum surfaces now they made engines from aluminum they not make them quite as well as they used to be and we know nothing about their current quality. And probably now their cars is more worse than they letting you know. But we don't know what we don't know. And they hide everything. And if they cause the problem for consumers, maybe they make pretty good products. But only time will tell how long car lasts. And meantime, our cleaning process completely done. It has to do with our cleaning tools that's the most we're ever going to do here is the last thing i want to say about this next stage will be lapping process and in the next time with clean head i shall start it with 
Thanks for watching and bye for now.